as I said, I interviewed Mark Cantor with instigate.ai for Fireside. And Mark has just, he's cutting edge. He's above cutting edge. I don't know what you <laughs> So anyway. <laughs> he's that, beyond the cutting he's edge. Beyond. <laughs> he's like the Star Trek guy. So anyway, uh, Mark, why don't you tell us about instigate.ai? Well, thank you very much. And it's honored to be on the same show with Dr. Gilda and Len. Uh, Len, everything you say, dude, that's what it's all about. It's about value. It's about differentiating yourself, about being first to market. So I'm an old school software entrepreneur. I've been doing this for 40 years since the beginning of the software industry. And I started a company called Macromind. That became Macromedia. So if you've ever heard of Flash, that was my company. Billions of dollars of value was created. That doesn't mean that the venture capitalists didn't uh, you know, screw me over, but that, that's just why I'm broke today, right? Because people think that if you've been an entrepreneur and your company went public, you're permanently rich. But in, in fact, the ride of the entrepreneur is like a roller coaster, okay? So I, my last company ended up in a lawsuit. What did I do? I started another company. It was in the field of artificial intelligence. You might have heard of this hustle. It's out there. Trillions of dollars are being invested in it. The problem is that the average normal person isn't a programmer or a data scientist or a mathematician. How do we allow normal people to get involved with AI? How do they learn? Well, what we've done is we've got a new kind of tool that is actually kind of like a game. They start at level one and they start to create interactive stories that use AI. And then they share those stories with their friends. And of course, everybody's got an aspirational ambition. So our social model is you first start and you create what we call a being. We don't call them bots because bots are evil. We call them beings because those are nice and warm and fuzzy. And so you create this being and it's a conversation and you try it out yourself. You, you put something into the conversation and there's a little script editor and then you try it out and then you add some more to the conversation and you script out a conversation. And what you're doing is you're using videos and photos and music and animation and it, because it's all about the cell phone, right? It's all about uh, media. Now, when I listen to my daughter talk, She's talking about gossiping and this cute guy in school, and they each have their own language. And so our AI, instead of it being something that the company defines, which is why chat bots and all these things are so evil, what we're doing is allowing the creator to create their own language that they share with their posse. So part one is you create this being. The next stage is you share it privately. So our social model is that you can just go and create something to share it privately. You don't have to go public and you know spew it all over the world. And so you create this private experience and your friends interact with her, okay? And you ask a question. So you're watching the story played out and it's in the form of a messaging app because we all recognize that there's a little text field along the bottom you're supposed to type into it. So you watch this story unfold, but during the story, you can ask questions of the story. Is this uh, in the beta stage or is this? Uh... Well, we're, yeah, we're still working on it. And it's okay. something Len can appreciate. We've built this whole product. We've been working on it for four years. We've been testing it, creating prototypes. We've done it with no money. So would you could characterize this as entertainment then? Is that what... Ab Absolutely. Okay. It's so funny because my lawyer people hear about it, like this is great for health and this will be great for business well yeah that's true but you got to get the essence of the value first this is a completely new thing no one's ever seen this before now i'm glad you brought up money because it's all about follow the money right and who is going to really use this product celebs and brands because they're constantly looking for a new way to differentiate themselves to stand up from the crowd they call it fomo Fear of missing out. So what we've got is what happens after TikTok, right? I mean, you know, TikTok is these short little form videos. That's all cool. Everyone's used to doing that. But what I'm about is what happens next. It's like having a bot, but you train it to answer in your own voice, right? So it's kind right, of your you have your own language that, that you develop, that you and your posse get, you know, it's for you. So it's a personalized animated figure of yourself. Not animated. We are appearance agnostic. 
that that allows us to partner with all these little 3D talking heads. We can insert our stories into Fortnite or into you know Metaverse. We can work with other ads in the the world because you see the celebs and brands they're constantly looking for a new way they're locked into the facebook and instagram and youtube world what they want to do is route around and get right to their customers right so what we've got is a new kind of publishing platform and for, for instance mexican avocados is not going to do any ads in the super bowl this year they don't need to they have a list of 80 million names okay so they can get directly to their customers so our publishing platform allows these celebs and brands to create a unique experience, unique storytelling experience, and go right to their customers. Now, where it gets really cool is that within the story, you know, because it's all about these short little videos, right? These short form videos and a little thing here, and you watch a TV ad, and it's all about these little quick cuts, okay? So in our being, you can go into the being and copy an individual piece of the being and paste it into your being. So you can get the Popeye's dancing chicken sandwich, go over to the Tesla thing, the car driving this way, then you got the Nike sneaker over there, then you got the toothbrush doing this, and you can copy in all these segments, put it into your being, and create your own being real quick, and then share it with your friends. Kenya does digital marketing type of work, creative work for iHeart. Kenya, what do you think about this? Oh, is it like product placement and integration in your own personal type of story? Is that what it is? If you want to, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think of it as like a, a personal diaries or gossip or something where you're going to use it for fun and entertaining things. And for instance, you're, you're going along and uh, you're watching a story and your friends ask, wait, wait, I know that guy. And, just, and you know, it's looking for, and you've trained it to say, Frank, Henry, Joe, and Steve, you know, and so your friends are all gossiping about these guys and you say, well, is that Joe? You know, and then you've got different responses. If you say Joe, you do this, but if you say Frank, you do that, right? And so it's a whole interactive story. I was going to say, so brands would use this as interactive advertising. So like, for Absolutely. example, I'm LeBron James, right? And I create this like storyboard and I and, can- And within like, the LeBron like, James world, he's got- He's helping out folks in Akron. He's got the story of his rings. He's got his aspirations. He's got his organizations he's helping with, okay? And so as people interact with the LeBron being, different things are coming up out of it, right? And it's kind of you're exploring through the being, discovering what's in there. It sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm sorry, Dr. Gilda, did you have a question or? No, I love it. It's, it's Thank you. I, I think of so many opportunities for interpersonal relationships with that. And you're so right. Everybody wants to speak in their own language. And when they speak to other people, they they want a similarity of language. And yeah. so this is this is very interesting to me. What pisses me off is when I look at the existing tools out there, they're very condescending, they're very limiting. Oh, look, I can put text right there. I can put an icon. I mean, I've got these young teenage daughters and I don't want to limit them. I want to give them the most sophisticated, powerful tools they can. Mark, you really have something, okay, which I'm not sure that, that you even realize yet. Okay, we, we, we've spent millions of dollars with our companies over the years to see what, how you can get the attention of people for 30 seconds, a, a rocket pitch, et cetera, kind of thing. And, and the answer is always show them something that they've seen before that they recognize, and then they'll listen to the message. And, yeah. and you have that in, yeah. in, in this platform. So Jim so, has a lot of experience with this. I, I just want to, you know, you've gone through the experience with macro media. What do you see as your exit strategy for this venture? It's always important for entrepreneurs to understand where they're going. Yeah. And how they'll ultimately... Uh... So, so we've got a five-year roadmap. This is going to be a billion-dollar company. It's going to spread like crazy because it is a DIY creator platform. Okay? So there's three things going on here. First, it has to be a completely new way to express. Okay? Whole new thing. There's a there there. Okay? Second, you got a way, a, a way to make money. And what I'm doing is recreating the phenomena that I did 35 years ago, where people who use our product can make a living. And finally, this is a way for people to learn about artificial intelligence, about AI. How do you do that? By doing it. 
this goes wide and deep. There's a lot more to this. You just touched the tip of the iceberg. If anybody wants to talk to Mark some more about this and kids are using it, it's fun. Um, yeah. It's um, instigate.ai. AI stands for artificial intelligence. And please get a hold of him. And that's his website. We will be back after this break. You are listening to Passage to Profit, the inventor. Thank you. <laughs> With Richard and Elizabeth Gerhardt, our special guest. Dr. Gilda Carl and our executive spotlight, Len Green. And if you're just tuning in now to the radio, listening to this, wow, you need to hear the podcast when it comes out tomorrow because we have had one of the best shows ever and I'm not making that up. So we'll be right back after this message. <laughs> 